How much time did you have to take off this year to cast a ballot? <laughs> well, oh, man, uh, it, I had a hard time finding the stamp in my wallet. And which is where you keep your stamps. <laughs> which is where I keep my stamps. And you only have them for voting. I only <laughs> have them for voting because Washington is one of three states now. Uh, which is an all vote by mail state, Correct. Uh, which means that we get our ballots in the mail. We fill them out on our own time. We put a stamp on them. We drop in the, them in the mail or we drop them without a stamp in a uh, in a drop box and your ballots are counted. There's no waiting in line. There's no broken polling machines. You don't have to go anywhere. No. I voted in my jammies this year with like a hot toddy in my hand. Paul, did you take off any time to vote? I did not. I uh, I voted in an evening. I sat down with the voter's guide that was provided to me and went through and made choices based on that. And So you uh, also got to have resources with you, which yes, is the other great I thing. It's an open book test. It yes. is an open book test. Yeah, you get to have your notes and you yes. can like Google and I look at I had the stuff. Google. Yes. Yep. Yes. And I did I'm a I'm a I'm a, a snail mail guy. I like I like mailing things, so I always have my Batman stamps. Uh although <laughs> Now I have some Wonder Woman stamps on my fridge uh, that I'm I'm very excited about using. Still with her, huh? <laughs> yes. But I do think that uh, it would be great if Washington State had postage paid because that even that is a barrier for voters. Yeah. So that's I so I think that's a really good point. And King County has been experimenting with a little bit of postage paid recently. A couple of the really small like school, like one on Vashon Island, I think. Um, they've been trying it out to see um, whether or not it increases voter turnout, which it has. Um, and the real question is whether or not it's like worth the cost. But we've already cut the cost by doing vote by mail. You know, uh, to, to, to borrow a title from uh, your, your, your guest's, uh, your later guest book, we want the best democracy money can buy. And if the cost really? of it is a first class stamp, I think, I think it's a bargain. Right. And also, by the way, that's just money that goes from one government hand to the other because it, it's the post office, which I think we all agree is something that we like want to keep operational and help yes. support. So, so the great thing for folks uh, outside of the West Coast who aren't used to the whole vote by mail thing, there's vote by mail in every state. In every state, in every jurisdiction, you can get an absentee ballot. The question is, what are your absentee ballot laws? Uh, is it something that you can only do if you verify you're going to be out of state the way it is in my native Pennsylvania? Is it something you can request every time regardless? Or is it something where you can put yourself as a permanent absentee as you can do in some states? In Washington, there's no choice. Everybody is essentially an absentee voter and gets their ballots in the mail. And the great thing about this is that much of the voter suppression laws that you see going around nationwide, voter ID, et cetera, is intended specifically to suppress the vote. And you can't do any of that stuff with vote by mail because there's no polling place. There's no ID to show. You're either a reg registered voter or you're not. And if by chance your ballot doesn't show up, you've got three weeks. You can request another ballot. You can go online and print one out. You can print it like the day it's due. Like you can print it. I was telling people if you've lost your ballot, like that does not mean that you're out of the game. We make it very easy, even though we don't pay postage, for people to vote. I I personally have never waited in line to vote. I have never had to go to a polling place my entire voting life. I grew up in Oregon and now I'm here. I have been able to mail my ballot in. And the idea that I would have had to take a day off of my job as a waitress to to stand in line like I wouldn't have done it I can tell you that I wouldn't have done it and so even that like the fact that the rest of the country has been so slow to adopt vote by mail I think is is very indicative of the larger view about like who gets to vote and who can vote voting day is not a national holiday you can't like I would you like I can't right. imagine calling in sick it, it, it's a it's a it is a crime against our democracy every election day when you see those scenes of people waiting in lines for hours where they have to extend the go to court to extend the hours of the polling places oh, because it's uh, they've run out of ballots or a machine is broken. It doesn't happen here in Washington state. It never happens here in Washington state. Republicans could take over. 
we have a Republican Secretary of State. It does. It still doesn't happen. I mean, she is trying her damnedest to make it a little harder by adopting you know, a real ID. Uh, but you know, our our she, she's not evil by national Republican no, standards. No, no, she it's, is not. It's it's all relative. So one of the first things I think, if you made me benevolent dictator, I would do is uh, do national vote by mail. Yeah. Where, um, Everybody has the right to be a permanent absentee voter. Can I just say, though, my favorite part of the voting by mail process, which people who live in states that don't have vote by mail may not know about, is uh, I, I, I vote the minute my ballot arrives in the mail. I send it back the next day. Um, oh, I and know where then, you're going. Yes, you can look up on a website whether your ballot has been received. And yes. there's a screen. You get a green check. It's better than the sticker that you get at the ballot so box. Much better. Because it says your ballot has been received and your vote will be counted. Yeah. And it's such a relief. It yeah. was a relief for me in 2016, um, mm -hmm. you know, before actually election night happened, to know that I had I had voted mm -hmm. for my candidate mm -hmm. and that my vote had been counted. It was such a relief for me as a citizen. I felt like I was, yes. You know, there's an extra yes, bonus to that. Which is that not only can you look up and see that you voted, the campaigns can look up and see that you voted. Nobody yes. knows yeah. how you voted, but they know that you voted, so they stop calling you. Yes. Yeah. If you are done getting phone calls, vote early. Yeah. Well, so I think this is something – I mean, obviously, Washington has been vote by mail for some time. Oregon has been vote by mail for some time. What can people in other – like, what do you do if you're in an other – in one of the lesser states than out here on the West Coast. Uh, if you don't want to have to wait and stand in a fucking line, like in the rain, it's November when you vote, right? Like in the snow, what do people do? What do they do? Yeah, what should they do? What should they ask their elected leaders to well, do? They should ask their elected leaders. Well, they should start. ask them to yeah. vote by mail. Yeah, they should. <laughs> That's right. And remember also, the other great thing about vote by mail is it's a paper ballot, which means there is, by definition, a paper trail. There is no way for the Russians to hack in right. and throw a vote by mail election because even if you went and hacked the voting machines, you've got all the paper ballots there. They, they do a statistical sample. You can do hand recounts of the ballots. And we had a hand recount in 2004 of over 3 million ballots statewide and – statistically insignificant number of changes from the original count to the final count. I mean, that's the other thing is it is actually more secure to like a, a large amount of voter suppression is characterized as being, you know, like voter suppression tactics are, are to make the vote more secure or to uh, right. reduce. ID. Yeah. Right. Right. Voter ID is to reduce um, fraud. There is almost no better way to reduce voting fraud than to switch to paper ballots. Also, in terms of voters who aren't eligible or voters voting twice, and, and remember, you say we said before you can print out a ballot. You can print out as many as you want. Only the first one they receive is counted. They, right. they, they know it's yes. – it, it, there, there's no way to actually mail in multiple ballots. And you have to sign ballots. it, and they do check your signature. They verify right. your signature. and that is, that is one of the downsides yes. is that a certain percentage of the ballots are left uncounted because mm -hmm. people – did not sign the – not the ballot, but the envelope. Right, right, right. right. Because this is a, right, a the ballot's a secret. secret ballot. Yep. Uh, they do not sign it or their signature doesn't match. Mm -hmm. So there's maybe – so there are a percentage there. But when you work that into the larger numbers compared to other systems, it, it just works out so much better and it's, it's so much right. harder to uh, suppress that vote. But I would say, again, on that issue of voter fraud, that there is no record of it. The other reform – you should ask for is automatic voter registration. That's something right. we don't have in Washington state, which we should. If you're eligible right. to vote, yeah. you should be able to get a – they should register you for you. Well, and there's a lot of ways that we could still expand voting um, pre-registration, you know, so that you register before you turn 18. But by the time – if you're 18 at the time of the election, you know, you don't have to go, like, register to vote the day of. Um, and, and, yeah, automatic voter – motor voter registration. Um but I th the hard thing for me is is there seems to be two different views on who should be able to vote. 
Like that that's what so much of this voter suppression and 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 requiring you, people you to mean white people versus people yeah, of color. Yeah. And <laughs> and people with money, like people who can drive right. to a point, you know, sometimes polling places are really far out. Sometimes they're, you know, you vote in the middle of the day when most people have to work. Yeah. Like there are so many ways that we make it just a little more hard to vote if you are not a person who has paid leave, if you are not a person who has a motor vehicle, if you are not like we don't make any attempt to make sure that polling places are on bus lines. We don't make sure that, you know, like there's no concessions being made. And I, th- the thing that seems so strange to me is that more working people aren't mad at what a gigantic ordeal voting is for them. They don't know any better because they don't. Yeah. You know, an interesting history in Washington state, Oregon was the first state mm-hmm. to do uh, all vote by mail. Hell yeah, Oregon. Right. Washington shortly thereafter implemented uh, permanent absentee balloting so that you could just put yourself on the rolls and anybody could vote by mail if they wanted. And uh, and gradually, county by county, they started individually moving to all vote by mail because it was cheaper and easier than running two different voting systems. But in King County, where we live, the largest county in the state and the largest vote by mail jurisdiction in the country, all vote by mail jurisdiction, what you had for years early on was that the early vote uh, came in um, uh, Democratic because that was the election day stuff that was counted and then the mail-in ballots were largely from what were then Republican suburbs, the red areas of the county. Republicans were voting by mail and Democrats were voting at the polls because Democrats were largely concentrated in Seattle and the Republicans were distributed throughout the county. So Republicans embraced it. They embraced it because it made it easier for Republicans to vote. Once the entire state, except for King County, was all vote by mail, Republicans resisted allowing King County to go all vote by mail huh. because they they knew they had an advantage there. So you have have this you have this example where Republicans know that vote by mail increases turnout. They would just rather it's only their people that turn out. So if you're worried about having your vote counted out in rural America, out in the exurbs where it's harder to get to a polling place, my God, you should be supporting vote by mail. <laughs> 